Hello, Evan Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Red Dirt Ranch, and we have a bunker that is partially full. I'm going to guess maybe about a third full here, so Evan, somewhere in thereabouts. We got a little over 5 million. Actually, I think it's almost, yeah, 5.3 million. 5.3 million liters of chaff in the bunker here. I think it's also 100% compacted, isn't it? Uh, 99%, I guess, close enough. Uh, yeah, 99.9% .9 compacted there. Uh, the 9620RX here did a great job compacting. Well, uh, I don't, what do you call this lovely number? I don't know if it's called level in the bunker. It pushed it all to the back, whatever. But um, 9620RX did a great job there. Never had to fix it once. Uh, wasn't getting stuck on like the 83, was it 8320? I think it was 8320. Yeah, it's sitting over there. Uh, 8320 kept getting stuck. The 9620RX never had to fix it once, everyone. So that was nice. Not going to complain about that one. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, what I was kind of guessing, everyone. Horseplay looks like it was definitely trying to push all the chaff to the back of the bunker. Uh, again, not exactly what I call level in the bunker, but uh, it, it's got it all pushed to one side. Uh, interestingly enough, for some reason, it like, likes to leave some here. I don't know why that is, but uh, whatever. Uh, with that being said, too, Evan, we are finished uh, chopping corn here for this time around. Uh, kind of debating. Should we, uh, I'm thinking we're probably going to replant some of these fields and have another go at it, Evan, I thought. Because, again, I, mean, I would like to see this uh, bunker full. I thought that'd be a fun way to wrap up the, uh, the, the map here. So we're probably going to work on replanting the fields here this episode. And uh, I don't know that we'll be able to fill this after another round. I have my doubts. Yeah, if it's, we'll probably probably like another third or so of them. So we might have to plant the fields again after that. We'll see once here. What I was thinking, everyone, we do have enough money. Maybe purchasing another field like 107 here right across the road. That's a fairly nice square field. We shouldn't have to worry about pivots. And then hopefully that'll keep the process moving a little bit better. Because we kept having problems with the pivot fields, everyone. Uh, of course, well, actually it was auto drive, I guess, technically. Auto drive when it would get near the pivots, it would just get stuck and it would keep searching for clear area. I, I don't know what was going on with that, everyone, but uh, it would keep getting stuck there. Speaking of watch, on field 126, I did not have as much trouble. Uh, maybe had to fix it uh, a handful of times, maybe a handful, something like that. Not very often. And in fact, uh, the last time I fixed it, it finished the last half of the field all by itself. I never had to. Well, I, I had to fix it one more time after that. I think it was maybe one more time after that. So yeah, that actually worked out pretty good. I mean, I did what like 15 headlands or something like that on that field that uh that got the job done so anyway uh we're going to continue uh filling up the bunker that's going to be the plan of it. let's get the 9620rx out of here we'll keep that oh, i guess it was, was it running already maybe it was we'll get him out of here a minute and then yeah we'll continue on uh, working on replanting the fields here so i'm probably not going to do the two pivot fields uh straight across from this here but again those are just too much trouble uh, auto drive. Well, I guess I could try more headlands, maybe, but I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and, uh, you know what, let's just do it right now. We're going to go ahead and purchase 107 here. Yep, got that field. Uh, you know what, I probably should get that scanned while we're at it here. So let's go to, is this the screen? Yes, request analysis of 106. And technically 107. Um, you know what we probably could do if we wanted to is plow those fields together, couldn't we? Let's go back to this one here. Yeah, looks like that would be our, probably a good candidate for being plowed together, if you ask me that one. And let's go check over here. I'm pretty sure we're done over here, right? Yes, we are done. The uh, truck here could probably go turn them on here first. Have you go, like, uh, finish unloading that if you could. And then we'll just have you go back to the circle farm. Got to calculate a path. That's interesting. There we go. I was going to say, that's kind of weird. Should be able to. Not that far from our waypoint here. And I'll have you go back to the circle farm here as well. Kind of wait for that truck to go through here first. Open the way. Okay, there we go. Then we'll turn that back on. And hopefully that uh, other truck will go first. There we go. We'll let them uh, clear out of the field here. So I might try replanting this field, that one. Like I said, did not have as many issues with this field. I uh, still had to fix it a couple of times. But not near as bad as like 131, 132. It was just like constant, constantly having to fix those fields. It was getting downright uh, annoying. Okay, so uh, let's see what's here. 107, let's go check the map here. What do we need to do with these fields here? Uh, it is ready to harvest. Okay, and it has soybeans on it. Uh, you know what? We do have a combine over here. Might as well harvest it, right? Let's uh, let's do that. I was just going to plow it under them, but might as well harvest it. And then maybe we'll plow those fields together. And this uh, 107, I would say, is... Probably just as big as 126, if not a little bit bigger. So if we uh, replant 126 and uh, 107, 106 here, and like I said, I'll probably plan on plowing these together then. 
That should get us really close to filling up that bunker here. Again, everyone, I'm looking at wrapping up this series here fairly soon. Uh, again, would like to finish filling that bunker first, though. Uh, there, there's probably some cheatish things I could do to fill it a little quicker, but we're going to try to do it somewhat legitimately here. Speaking of which, reminds me, I do want, uh, you know what, I think I still forgot to enable the larger planters. I'm like, okay. Double, double check here, man. I'm pretty sure I forgot to enable them. Uh, I did remember to uh, disable something else, though. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, cedars, planters, let's see once here. Not seeing what I'm looking for yet. Nope, must have forgot to enable them. Kind of thought as much. Okay, still need to go back in there and, and enable them. Pretty sure in the mod folder, I'll have to double check that. But pretty sure I got them in there. I just need to remember to activate said uh, equipment. Okay, let's go grab a combine here. I think I've seen it sitting right there. That is not the combine I was looking for. I mean, that one probably be the better choice, but... This one should get the job done just a little bit quicker. Also, I need to do something with that uh, chap that's outside the bunker here. Uh, not sure what to do with that. And that's 107. Yeah, that's one right across the road here. Looks like 106 is empty. Now, we're probably not going to get a very good uh, yield on this, have I'm going to guess here, and we probably haven't got our field results back yet, have we? Have my doubts here. We're probably waiting for the analysis. Yeah, we're waiting for the analysis yet. So that might take, uh, probably by the end of this episode, everyone will have it. I'm not going to wait for that to uh, come in. So let's, anyway, let's get a course by course going here. Minute 107. And we'll do, I don't like three headlands. Should be pretty good. Do a turn on the corners. Go ahead and save that field. 107. 12 meter harvest. First waypoint, drive the course. Now, uh, speaking of soybeans, I just mentioned this here a moment ago. Uh, I want to try soybeans here again. Uh, there was a suggestion in the comments here a while back. Uh, why don't you try disabling the unit convert light mod and see what's if that will fix the soybean yield problem? I figured I'm gonna, it's worth a try. So, uh, if you'll notice, like on my information screens, now, you don't see bushels and tons and stuff like that anymore. It's all in liters here again. I deactivated the unit convert light mod. We'll see if that makes a difference. I, mean, I have no idea. It's not real good on the yield down there. That looks like a nice solid 65%. Keep in mind the field hasn't been scanned yet, so that's probably not a real good indicator, but let's see. 65%. Whoa, look at that. How did I guess that? How did I guess that? Anyway, uh, back to uh, 104 here. Actually, we got, uh, oh, we got sunflowers over here that needs to be harvested. Okay. Forgot about that. What's the uh, nitrogen situation? 60, huh? Uh, the other su uh, suggestion, I mean, I think I've kind of sort of tried this one before, and that is to make sure the field has zero, zero nitrogen on it. And, and again, I, mean, I mentioned this once before, we actually got soybeans to work once on this map. I don't know what the trick was. I don't know what I did right that time around, everyone, but soybeans did work right yield-wise once. We actually got, I don't remember, it was... Was it like 90% yield or something? It was actually pretty good. I want 100% somewhere up there. It was uh, it was a halfway decent yield compared to all the rest of our yields that have just been absolute uh, abominations. So we might uh, might uh, see once if we can give that a try. One of the only things I'm gonna have to have a field that has no nitrogen on it. Uh, the other thing I think to do that with that one is maybe plant some corn on the field, and that'll kill the nitrogen on most of the fields here. Got to make sure I don't put any fertilizer down when we do that. So, uh, whatever we plant with, not put fertilizer down. I'm not sure if that's possible with our current cedars. Both of our current cedars put down fertilizer. I guess I could possibly try removing the fertilizer. But then again, hired worker. I'm not sure if the hired worker would put fertilizer down or not. I'm not sure if that would, uh, what would happen. We'll have to investigate that one maybe a little bit. But, uh, yeah, definitely want to want to try and see what's going to happen with the unit convert mod light disabled. Again, when I'm using the unit convert mod, I don't know why the unit convert mod would be messing with this and why it would only affect soybeans. I mean, I would think I mean, if the unit convert mod is messing with something, it would be like all the crops would be affected to some extent then, right? Not just uh, not just soybeans, but you never know. I figure we'll give it a try. Worth uh, worth experimenting with. And again, as I said, I won't read too much into what we're seeing now in this field because again, keep in mind this, uh, this field has not been scanned, so that might not be a real good indicator with what's... Uh, happening there at the moment. 
Okay, 104. We'll leave you there. You're done. And let's see what sort of we got going on here. That truck is stuck there. Okay, that's that's actually probably fine. He can uh, he can stay there. It's like a pretty good uh, parking spot here, if you ask me. Oh, and he finally got himself unstuck. I must not have this uh, core set up on so it can go the other way or something, because auto drive keeps going around. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. What should probably do is like maybe make a connection from here to there. Yeah, because auto drive it sits you're going all the way back around. I think it goes to field 131 there. Turns around, I'm guessing, or something. I'm not sure of one. I noticed that and I never took the time to uh, fix that. So, oops. We'll, uh, we'll fix that here this time. Just add another connection there. Oh, thank you. Uh, click the switch. I love that feature. Love that feature. <clears throat> nice. And we'll get the other truck out of the way here a moment as well. Not sure why this truck is sitting underneath the... Uh, I guess he's not quite under the silo load, is he? He's just sitting close to it. Okay, leave that there. Uh, like I said, I, mean, I do have to, or probably should do something with the mess that's outside the bunker here. Why is my mouse not working? Hmm, that's weird. Okay, very weird. I guess it's sort of working. It's, uh, something with you turning around, everyone, has just gone really wrong. Really, really wrong. I don't know what. Uh, okay, yeah, and anyway, like I was saying, I, mean, I should probably do something with this. I'm not sure what. Maybe, I don't know, front loader or something. There might be a surprising amount of chaff there, though. Uh, speaking of chaff, I wonder there's probably some in the bunker. I wonder if I should get the 9620RX going in. Eh, it's not enough to worry about, I don't think. So, yeah, clearly, uh, auto I guess auto drive doesn't know enough uh, to make sure it's empty before it exits the bunker. Looks like it's only happened a couple of times, which is kind of weird. So, I don't know why or what. Why it's doing that, but it uh, looks like maybe I'm guessing like three times it's happened, maybe. Could be more, but it could actually be more. It's hard to say because there could be it's dumped across this a couple of times here. Very well possible. Unfortunately. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that here at some point. Oh, you know what? I do need to get a truck going on that combine, though, don't I? That is right. Let's get our truck over there. We'll have to set up a quick uh, auto drive course here for this a minute. Just uh, start recording right about there. Make a loop out into the field here. We'll call this 107. Field 107. Loop back to the road course. Stop recording. And then we'll just uh, connect this up here. So we're definitely going to want him to go. Oh, come on, stop. There we go. Definitely want him to go that way. And then for some reason, if we do want to go that way, we can do that as well. And then also from this direction to that one. And from this direction to that one. There we go. Should be good. I don't know about having both of them connect at the same point. We'll see what that might be a problem, but. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, don't need me to turn them on yet. We need to do this. Put you in combine mode. Yield 107 to the silo unload. Actually, no, we need to circle. Circle farm silo unload, yes. There we go. And he's going to go probably drive the course, that's fine. And then the combine here, we need to make sure we have you set on 107. Okay, there we go. Should take care of that field. We'll get that uh, field harvested here. Speaking of harvesting, we do need to get over on uh, the rest of the fields over here and get those harvested as well. Uh, let's see, once we're 126, that should be already be planted. We're actually, no, we need, probably need to plow it, don't we? That's right, because we had corn in that field. Yes, we do. Let's get the plow going over there here a minute. Actually, if I bring him to the road here, I could probably get this all to happen from here. So let's go yield 126. And I presume I probably have a plow course for that field already, I think. I think I plowed it once. So let's go check here a minute. Field 126, 10 meter plow. Yes, I do. Forgot I need to plow that field. I mean, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. 
Uh, and then we'll just turn on course play mode here, turn on the power. And then 126, once uh, auto drive reaches it, we'll turn on the course play course for 126 and start plowing, hopefully. It's all good in theory until it actually works. Okay, that'll take care of that. I guess we won't actually be planting yet this episode. I mean, I was hoping to actually start planting this episode, but that's right. We need to plow that field first, and then we need to harvest 107 there first. So, yeah, we'll let, uh, let course plane auto drive and all that good stuff take care of that problem. Let's head back up to 104 here. Let's see once here. Where is the combine at? Eh, you're supposed to be selling oats, okay? We're just going to... Pick you up and uh, move you out of the way for now. Actually, I'll stop you here as well. You're going to unload. Do not need you to go back to the field. Actually, let's go. Let's see. Let's go back to 100. See if that'll work or not. And let's go grab the combine. I don't know why I brought the combine way over here. We actually need to grab the row crop head on this combine. And we'll get some uh, row crops going here. Sunflower specifically. It'll be the first time we've actually harvested sunflowers here or row crops with this uh, combine. Should I put this header here? That's going to be out of the way. That's a good question. Out of the way. A reminder, by the way, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the RDL and multiplayer servers, you're welcome to do so. That information, again, down below in the uh, description there. Anyone is welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. Yeah, we'll just put it over here, I guess. Good to me. Again, if you'd like to uh, join us, please join us in on the RDL and TeamSpeak server. Again, that RDL and TeamSpeak server information is down below in the description there. Uh, TeamSpeak is free to download, and if you don't already have TeamSpeak, uh, there is a download link down below for that as well. Very interesting fold-out method, I might add. Kind of, uh, kind of cool to watch. Oh, the header uh, feels so small on this combine. It feels so small, but oh well. Uh, let's see what's here. We need to get a course like actually. I think I probably deleted all the course by courses. And then this is tiny, I think, is a nine meter course. So I should have kept my original nine meter harvest course. I don't think I did though, did I? Oh, that's right. We're gonna go to 102. That's what I set the truck to anyway. And seeing as though that's where the truck's at, might as well start the combine there. Let's see, field 111, 12, uh, 6, 9.7 meter harvest. Uh, that's 9.7. I don't know if that'll quite. Yeah, it says it's 9.1, so we better not do that. Better not. We'll just uh, trash can that course here. We got a 9 meter plant course. So that'll work. 9 meters, everyone, is 9 meters, so. Let me get the truck out of the way here. I see the truck's in here somewhere. There it is. We'll just uh, kind of put you over there a little bit. Okay, let's see what's how we're looking here. Okay, guess you cannot get in the combine from that side. Fine. On around this side. There we go. Not a bad looking sight in the field there, if you ask me that one. Not too shabby. I mean, the, uh, the baby puke green could probably use a little bit of improvement. Better, better color green, I would suggest. But, uh, yeah. Like it's uh, getting the job done. Anyway, speaking of uh, the soybeans here, got them. So that's going to be uh, something else I want to test on the map here. So soybeans, uh, 104, 105 here was looking pretty low on nitrogen, right? Nitrogen, actually, it's uh, very consistent across the entire field. The consistent 60. Okay. So yeah, if we plant something on that field, that one that can kill the nitrogen, <clears throat> corn, actually probably any crop I plant on the field here at this point will probably kill the nitrogen. It's down to 60, so. Uh, yeah, so what can we plant on the field that would uh, decimate the nitrogen? And what can I plant easily? Oh, I think oats probably would do it, to be honest, everyone. But we need to make sure we take the fertilizer out of the planter here, because otherwise, uh, we're just going to fertilize down. That's not going to be uh, good. Uh, let's see, oats, wheat, barley, I'm trying to think here, what should I plant, canola? I know corn will probably do it, I mean, I'm just not sure what other crops, I'm not sure if I want to do corn, because corn high yielding, 
do something a little bit lower yield. I'm thinking, yeah, let's maybe go with the oats, everyone. Oh, good. We can unload. We'll just uh, leave that there. Let's go grab some speed. It's around the corner here. I know some modern planners that when it comes to unloading, you can't actually unload them. So that's why I was like, uh, is this guy going to unload? We'll find out. There we go. And yep, new fertilizer. And we'll I'll double check and make sure this is actually going to work. So we don't know if it will or not. I uh, can't you with horse play turn this off if you want to. Yeah, we're going to deactivate fertilizer. Oh, you know, actually, I probably could have actually left it on or left the uh, fertilizer in it, everyone, and just turn that off. That probably would have done the trick, too, I think. But, uh, just extra precaution, no fertilizer in it, and we deactivated the use of the fertilizer. We need field 104. And that is going to be a 9 meter plant. Had to get out of the uh, course by the window there, man. We're heading straight for the river. It's like, oh boy, and I can't control it. Okay, first waypoint, drive the course. And then let's get, uh, what do we got? What do we got here? Get that seed and fertilizer out of the way here a minute before something runs into that. Because uh, like a good person, I just unloaded it straight in the, I mean like right in the middle of the path to you. Yeah, didn't I? Wow. I'm going to plan that any better if I wanted to. And yeah, we'll just uh, stick that over there for now. Probably I uh, forget about it. Never use it. That's fine. Yep, we're good. Should be good there. Okay. I uh, do want to get a larger plant here yet as well. When, oh, I think we do have some tractors that could probably pull a larger planter. So let's go take a look here. Uh, should we wait and get the planters I was planning on? I'll have to activate them. Or what else do we have here that we can uh, maybe use? Uh, we have several good choices as far as uh, John Deere DB60s and 90s go. Probably stick with like a 60 sized planter. DB60 24 row, 30 inch spacing. Uh, oh, is that the one that does not no till? That's a, yeah, that's a horrible, horrible planter. I mean, whoever heard of a DB60 that does not no-till? What kind of a nonsense is this? Actually, a really good-looking planner. Is this J... Actually, I don't know if this one's JHHGs or not. Not sure. Yeah, like I said, this one does not no-till. Found that out the hard way on the multiplayer server. See, this one here offers the ability to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. At least around where I'm from, everyone, it's typically called no-till. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one apparently cannot no-till. Like, like, what? Why? Well, yeah. Actually, I'm going to have you, let's say, let's go look at this planter here a minute. Uh, yeah, it's even got the no-till coulters on the front, looks like. At least it looks like I can't zoom in any further, but it looks like the it's got the row cleaners. Does it have downforce? I actually can't. Uh, visually, I mean, it does not look like it has any sort of downforce on it, but that's not to say, you know, it doesn't. It just, uh, visually, I mean, it doesn't look like it does, so... Not sure whose planter that actually is, if that's... Because J-H-H-E usually leaves his name on it. And that one does not have that. So I'm not sure who did that one, but... Yeah, no... No-till. I always gotta think about that one, because, like, it's no... It does not have no-till. Sure, something like that. Ah, really? These pivots, everyone. These pivots. Was my actually stuck on that, or was it actually, like, legitimately stopped? Yeah, like, this lane is legitimately not big enough for this, is it? There we go. Debating the uh, wisdom of replanting this field now all of a sudden, everyone. Uh, that looks like it's down. Oh, no, I guess it's not. Okay, looked like it was down. Thought it was down. It's not.
Oh yeah, there we go. Nearest uh, waypoint. Start you back up here again. Yeah, these pivots. I thought it'd be fun to try these pivots. Uh, I'm getting less and less interested in these uh, pivots here. They are nothing but a major pain in the you know where. And again, at least uh, with the Precision Farming DLC, I mean, I'm not sure there's anything I can really do with these other than maybe put herbicide in them. And for that matter, it doesn't seem like they actually seem to work either. I, you know, I guess maybe I should fill them up first. That might help everyone. Then maybe they'll work because I don't actually have anything in them at the moment. But if I were to, maybe then uh, additional options would appear. Uh, you can kind of sort of rotate them, but they don't rotate very far. And you can't seem to rotate them back for some reason. So I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, too bad I can't, like, uh, sell you or move you or get rid of you somehow. That would be kind of nice. I don't think they're actually listed in the shop here, are they? I don't think they are. And again, I'm with the map object hider mod. It doesn't give any options with this either, which uh, most stuff, when you have the option, you can hide it or sell it. Uh, it's not showing anything with these pivots, so these pivots must be something different, special. Don't know what. The uh, map object hider mod clearly doesn't know what to do with them either, so... Yeah, I'd like to get rid of those wood selling points, but... Uh, can't get rid of those either. Oh well. We'll uh, we'll leave them to that. Let's go back to uh back to the main farm here then. Life is going good over there. Let's go check and see what's all the harvest. Uh, speaking of harvest, I mean, that reminds me I wanted to do some harvesting myself here. We might just go ahead and do that. Do we want to harvest soybeans or do we want to harvest sunflowers? That's a lot of over oh, you know what? Did I create this at 12 meters? This is actually a 13 and a half meter header, isn't it? I might have left it at 12. Oh, that's fine. A little extra overlap isn't going to hurt none. It is what it is. Yeah, I might actually go harvest some uh, sunflowers. I mean, that sounds like kind of fun. Uh, newer head here, newer combine. Let's just uh, stop. Force play there, and we're going to do some harvesting ourselves here. Like I said, I know I mentioned that here an episode or two back. I wanted to do some. Never got around to it. We're busy uh, monkeying and messing around with the uh, chopping there. Finally getting to do some harvesting. Again, I mean, as I mentioned before, definitely one of my more favorite activities in the game here. Do all the work of planting and fertilizing and, you know, preparing the field and waiting for the crops to grow. And you finally, all comes down to this, the harvest. Speaking of the harvest, how we looking yield-wise? Not bad, I guess. I'd say it's about the same. Actually, maybe a little less yield than last time around. Uh, there's not any problems on the field here, is there? pH value is good. Nitrogen is... Hmm. Nitrogen is not registering anything. That's weird. Let's go back to this one here. Uh, do we have... Uh, we might have a nitrogen problem on this field, maybe. Hard to say. Okay. Oh, speaking of nitrogen, I was going to check. Uh, we are putting fertilizer down. Hmm. Right now, I was going to check the map here. We are putting fertilizer down. Okay. Let's see once here. Use of fertilizer in cedar is deactivated. Cedar has no fertilizer. Cedar is putting down fertilizer. Oh, my goodness. Really? Really? There's... What? Okay. Different cedar, Evan. Different cedar. What do we have for a cedar here? A fairly good-sized one, preferably, that does not put down fertilizer. Oh, that one does too. I thought this one did not put down fertilizer. No, it shows fertilizer. Okay. Okay, all the cedars put down fertilizer. Okay. Is there not one that does not put down fertilizer? This one, yeah, but do I want a three meter? Not really. Nope, moving on. Uh, is there anything larger that does not put down fertilizer? Apparently all the cedars here put down fertilizer. That one does not. That also requires the front hopper, though. I think that's probably not an option. Uh, that one shows fertilizer. Okay. Pretty sure those had, yeah, those had fertilizer. Really? We don't have a cedar here that uh, does not put down fertilizer? Okay, then. Now, this one doesn't show it has fertilizer, but I'm pretty sure it does. 
Uh, well, that's, uh, let's not do, what are we doing? We're doing wheat, right? Or oats? Yeah, let's not do oats then, everyone. That, uh, yeah, we got fertilizer turned off. We have no fertilizer in the planter. Ah, uh, okay, plan B, plan B. Oh, plan B, I mean, I just realized it's time. Uh, it is time to wrap it up here this episode. Okay, well, I'm going to deal with plan B off screen, everyone. I'm going to see once what we can plant here with a planter that does not support fertilizer, period. And see once we get in that field. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll come back next episode with whatever the uh, solution to that problem is. So, again, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below and help next time.